Hey, Luke here from Makeoscopy, and I've got a real-life sonic screwdriver. So I used the um, casing from uh, the one that Ross probably already showed you. And this, I guess, is going to go with our Doctor Who series, because, you know, it's that kind of theme. So today I just made a simple sonic screwdriver. For once, things actually started working. I broke out the soldering iron. Uh, which doesn't really work all that well. For some reason, the solder doesn't stick to it. I think we just need to get some steel wool and fix that up. But I, it is good at melting solder that's already there. So I took out a uh, one of the LEDs. If you'll notice, one of them, this one, is a wee bit bigger, I think. Maybe just a different kind. And it is pointing a little bit down because soldering it was difficult without any helping hands um but i soldered that on so now it's got four leds and it's also got this little red indicator which i will make into a good looking emitter but kind of gave it some decorational value with some duct tape and i've got this switch which i salvaged out of an old tv which you've probably seen on my desk because i've had it there for a while Gotta adjust my head. <laughs> because they're cool. So, um, yeah, watch this. All four LEDs are functional. Wait a second, is one of them just staying on? Nope. Oh, yeah. Huh, weird. Don't know if it's supposed to do that. Or maybe it's just being illuminated by the uh, red LED. Don't know. But I wired them up. Well, I actually wired the power wires of the TV be gone, which is what I have in here. Um, I wired those actually to the wires to, for the LED because I just made the simple LED circuit first to uh, test the switch and some new batteries that we got in the mail for some reason. So, there we go working sonic screwdriver. So my plans for the future for this thing is what are because multiple plans. Um well one thing is I am going to uh confer with Tyler about this, but I'm pretty sure he's got a kind of transistor that uh only uh transists if it has one uh certain wavelength of infrared light. This might cause a little bit of um interference with that. Hopefully not. Hopefully it's not that kind of infrared light. But he has that and it's going to uh, function as a heart rate monitor. Don't know if it'll work for creatures with two hearts, but don't know. Um, Ross seems to think that if you just have that transistor and you point it toward an illuminated surface that like blood is running through, then the blood will reflect the light and... Um, like just ambient light and uh, reflect that kind of wavelength only when the blood is pumping and uh, reflect that back into the transistor but what I got from what Tyler told me was that you have an LED an infrared LED and then it goes like through your finger or something like those things that they clip on your pinky when you're having surgery um, and then I can just have the LED in there on one side and the transistor on the other and hopefully that will work with a uh, with an indicator LED. I'm hoping to add a whole bunch of LEDs coming out of here, kind of almost haphazardly, a little bit like the uh, laser screwdriver, and then I can uh, put my pinky in there. And then if it goes as planned, then uh, I can either use like an AT tiny or something to measure the heartbeat and I don't know, do something cool with it. Maybe put it on a little seven-segment display if I'm really feeling fancy. Or what I'll probably just do is have it uh, go through a little LED, and then it'll pulse when it uh, gets that kind of light. So yeah, that's just a uh, short update on my real-life sonic screwdriver.
thumbnail photo. There we go. <gasps> you know what? I forgot to make a broken leg pun. Time's running out. Because, you know, it's healing and running. <laughs>